Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 4th, 2023. Well, boy, those bears got active yesterday as those bond yields surged to the upside, and unfortunately, it's not relieving yet this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Whew, yesterday was a rough day for the market. We just kept selling and selling and selling as those bond yields continued to rise. We also saw the dollar surging higher creating all kinds of pressure here in the market. It would appear the, the market is finally starting to believe that the Fed is going to um, keep the interest rates higher for longer. Um, and they are reacting very negatively to that um, realization. So looking here at the diamonds, as you can see, really ugly. You know, when I started marking out some of these levels, I know most people were thinking, come on, Campbell, there's no way that's going to happen. We're not going to move down that far. And I got to admit, I never would have expected that we would have, we would move in such a straight line to the downside, but there we are. And we um, obviously yesterday breaking down through this little support level that I had marked in there in the chart we did get a little bit of relief at the end of the day and you can see here in the pre-market we're trying to bounce a little bit but with those bond deals continuing to say stay stubbornly high that uh, may not hold throughout the day so watch that carefully um, we have that uh, potential if the bears continue to push notice that the next level of price support is down in here and it's a fairly good price support so you can see it comes all the way back across over here um, in the chart so there is a pretty good price support there perhaps if the bears continue to push we can find that level and bounce in that area if the bulls find some kind of um, inspiration today to push on higher you can see this resistance across here isn't quite as strong as that price support below but we will want to be keeping an eye on that as we rally back up because we could run into that as resistance and then reverse back down. If we can push on through that area, however, maybe we can start pressing back up and challenging this downtrend line here in the chart. One thing we do have to recognize and one thing we do have to admit is we have created a lower high and a lower low in the market. So downtrend is still active and still valid. Now, I will say that this is a very sharp downtrend and it'll because it's so sharp, it'll be easier to break back to the upside. But my goodness, we've created so much technical damage here in the charts. If we take a look at our moving averages here, you can see that we have dropped sharply below our 200 day moving average, which is that uh, pink uh, line right there. We've got a 500 day moving average on here that we have sliced right through to the downside. So pretty ugly and our short term moving averages are pushing down, rolling over. So we've got some pressure here in the market. Now one thing I would say is we're really, really close. If this head and shoulders pattern is, is how we're reacting in the market, there's the neckline. You would have to say we're getting pretty close from the break of that neckline in here to um, the distance that we would normally travel in a uh, failed pattern on a head and shoulder. So we're getting close. That possibility that we could come on down to test that level certainly does um, um, uh, continue to play in the cards, but we'll want to watch carefully for that relief rally to begin, uh, maybe even today. Um, that doesn't mean that we're going to zoom back up. It means that we're just going to relieve some of the selling pressure, and it may actually set up the next opportunity for a short. So let's take a look at our SPY, SPY also. A uh, similar pattern, pushing down, breaking substantially lower here yesterday. We finally made the lower low here 
in the SPY, so lower high, lower low following the downtrend here. If you'll look across uh, right in this area, there's this is the big area of price support and perhaps we can catch a little bit right in here and bounce off of that but the bigger area of price support is right down in here and one of the reasons i think there still is a chance that we could dip a little bit further here in the market is we haven't quite tested our 200 day moving average we came really really close yesterday bouncing right in there around that 500 day moving average so don't rule out the possibility here on the spy that we could stretch on down just to confirm um, that level and test it um, looking right now though we're getting a bounce here in the market so if the bulls can continue to push through here this morning to the upside notice as we push back up we've got all of this resistance here in the chart on the prices that could resist us and then of course that downtrend as well so pushing back up into here we'd want to watch carefully for that potential that the bears could re-engage pushing us back down now if the bears find inspiration this morning and remember, we've got quite a little bit of data coming our way this morning. Certainly is possible the bonds aren't relieving any of that pressure just yet. If we were to, uh, to push on down, then I think there is that possibility we push a little bit lower. We test that 200-day moving average and maybe this bigger support level here in the SPY. Taking a look at our QQQ, well, our QQQ remains the strongest of the indexes holding in there, but unfortunately we did break these levels here yesterday. We struggled here for a while with the bears unable to push that down. They finally broke through that level and then they went ahead and pushed on through this area just ever so slightly but we didn't push on down to test this low of last wednesday um, in the chart so we still run that risk here that if the bears continue to push we could come on through uh, down into this area in the qqq we'll want to watch that pretty closely here but again qqq remains the strongest of the indexes if the bulls find inspiration then pushing back up to retest some of these resistance levels in the chart looks very likely there's our downtrend and if those bears push on through maybe we start coming down into here if we take a look at our iwm holy moly iwm what an ugly chart here um, iwm not looking good at all um, i will say that we're getting pretty close here to completing this head and shoulders pattern in the chart this right through here would be the neckline you can see the distance from the head to the neckline we're close we may have a little bit more to go possibly coming down into this area to complete that head and shoulders pattern taking a look here we have obviously made a lower high a lower low and we can't rule out the possibility because we're kind of floating in midair right here we broke through this level of price support so we can't rule out the possibility that we could come right on down to test this level before we get that significant um, relief bounce but that being said if the bulls can push through here this morning and push on up we'll want to watch this area right here as we push back there's a fairly significant level of price resistance right in there to see whether or not we can push back up through that if we can then we're probably looking in some of these areas here the top of this candle bottom of these candles up in toward that downtrend we'll want to be watching that area right in there let's take a look at our vix our vix uh doggone it um looks like um the patterns here have played out um as we would uh, would have expected um we're seeing that vix pushing up um, not quite 20 handles here at the close yesterday we found that downtrend break we held the higher low pushed on through on fear as those bonds uh, continued to pressure the markets and really pressuring probably profits um, in companies because all of these interest rate costs are going to weigh heavily on company profits watch that carefully if we 
uh, find a bullish reaction here today. Maybe we pull back and test this area here in the chart. If we can push that further, maybe we drop back down in here and we test some of these lows. It'll we'll need some bullishness here to, to make that move occur. Remember, if we hold a higher low from here, we continue to follow a pattern. We hold a higher low from here. Boy, we could really start to see panic coming in the market if that were to occur. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 is clearly, very obviously, oversold, very oversold in the market, but we just haven't been able to catch a break in the data to uh, give us some relief uh, to the upside. Um, the, the, remember, this is just a four week new high new low ratio it doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go it just tells us when we are in these major pressure points so what we have done here is we had this really long linger up here at the top side where we were trying to ignore the data of the market trying to ignore what the fed kept saying and now we're in that situation where we're lingering down here adding a major pressure to the market as the sell-off um, has really extended more than I think a lot of folks would have expected. Now, if there is good news here in the T2122 chart, we are in the bullish reversal zone. We are ab about as bearish as this indicator gets. And you'll notice right in here, we have this little hockey stick right here, a little hockey stick on the ice. When that hockey stick is down there like that, we're starting to show that little bit of a turn to the upside is possible, and maybe we can start to get that relief in here and push us up. If we move lower, it probably can't move sharply lower. Everyone is short, and what we're probably going to see um, is that relief rally everyone will be covering those short positions as we start to bounce to the upside so watch carefully for that possibility it could begin at any time but remember we cannot rule out more downside we showed you those levels in the charts there still may be a little bit of a push back down you also want to remember it's a very very typical pattern when an index stretches lower we'll bounce up and relieve and then we'll go back for a test so that's how those w formations get placed in the market sometimes we just have to go back down and take a look uh, one more time to be sure that we're ready to move up here for a period of time let's take a look at our uh, t2108 t2108 the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average obviously crushing lower here about 16 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average notice we broke through these price support levels in the chart pretty darn bearish and, and I know you're looking at this thinking it uh, can't get worse well it actually can you notice that we've got lows that could come down in here where we're in um, 12 13 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average but you'll also notice in this range is the likely area where we're going to get a relief rally and so watch that carefully we're very bearish here um, a little bit of relief is not out of the question and it could begin at any time our uh, t2107 saying the same thing we uh, tore this up yesterday breaking through support levels in the chart now 32 percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average and i know no one wants to hear this it can go lower but um, we're also in a pretty good area to see a little bit of relief um, in the chart uh, before we maybe move on down so watch that carefully here um, again could begin at any time on that relief now our t2101 this is um, something that kind of interesting with that heavy selling yesterday we really didn't see the breadth of the sell wave really pick up you would have thought with such a big move to the downside we would have seen more of that breadth coming in here on that sell wave so we may be in that situation here where if we can get that um, little bit of relief going, start getting some short covering coming in, 
maybe we can actually see that breadth extend on the buy wave here of the market. That's what we need to see to uh, provide a little bit of confidence. What we don't want to see is on that buy wave as the volume continues to dry up and we start to shrink back um, on our market breadth. So just keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things to be paying attention to here. And it's going to be one of those busy days of lots of Fed conversation. Oh my gosh, they're just a parade of them here today. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Goolsby uh, will be talking twice, but we've got quite a little bit of Fed conversation going on in here, which of course market is not appreciating that much um, at the moment. We've got um, a mortgage applications here this morning. Um, you can probably imagine with interest rates approaching 8%, uh, mortgage applications probably are not gonna be feeling very uh, comfortable here today. That could easily be a bad number. We've got the ADP report in here. ADP is expecting that we should see a decline in private payrolls. If that occurs, that may be bullish for the market. Um, if we start to see that coming down, that's one of the things the Fed wants to see. It's one of those areas where bad news is good news for the market. So watch that carefully, expecting a little bit of a decline in the ADP. We've got uh, PMI final in here. The PMI is expected to come in just above uh, the 50 level here, 50.1 services at 50.2. Now, uh, remember, uh, 50 is dead flat. 50.1 shows very modest growth. Um, I mean, kind of stall speed, essentially, of the market. So, um, but at least it's a it's an improvement on um, on the PMI if we can get back above that 50 area. So watch that. We've got um, um, uh, factory orders in here this morning. We'll want to be keeping an eye on that. We've got ISM services here today, both of those at 10 a.m. After that, we have a very important petroleum status number because remember, we've been seeing those supplies continuing to decline in our petroleum numbers. We'll want to watch that pretty closely because um, as OPEC continues their production cuts through the end of the year, uh, we're seeing that potential where those oil prices will continue to rise if those numbers continue to show declines in supplies. So watch that carefully. And remember, that is very inflation driven. Um, it, it raises the cost of everything we do here um, as those um, energy prices go higher. So watch that closely. Now, we'll no more and get through all of that. We're going to be thinking about Thursday. We've got international trade, jobless claims, and, you know, more Fed speak. Who'd have guessed? So keep an eye on that and all of this culminating on Friday with that employment situation report. That could be very significant as well. Let's take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar here today. And our earnings calendar, we do have a few more earnings today, maybe to help provide a little bit of inspiration. Um, obviously, our earnings yesterday didn't help us at all providing anything. Let's take a quick look. ANGO will be reporting today. You'll want to keep an eye on that. It was trying to pump up here. Um, heading into that earnings report. Watch that carefully. We're going to hear from Helen of Troy here today. Watch that carefully. It looks like a little bit of bearishness coming into that in the pre-market, maybe filling this gap over here in the chart. Um, watch that one. Um, we've got RGP that we'll be reporting today. RPM also reporting today and TLRY, that cannabis play. Little bit of a pop here trying to hold support in the pre-market. Watch and wait and see how that really reacts to their earnings this morning. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click the, uh, that subscribe button in YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post 
post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. I apologize yesterday, I kind of got caught up in, in, in the, the teaching in um, the Right Way Options trading room yesterday and I didn't get a chance to answer those comments um, yesterday. I did read them all. I did give them all thumbs ups, uh, but um, I will be back on that task here this morning. So thank you so much who does that for everyone who does take the time. And honestly, you humble me every day with the kind words. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. Um, a lot of volatility here. We could um, really see a big short squeeze get triggered. Um, we could see big whipsaws come into play. And of course, we still have some more downside potential if the data continues to pile on to that negative side and those bonds don't begin to relieve here at all. Right now we have our 10 year bonds at 4.95, or excuse me, 30 year bonds at 4.95%. We're flirting up there around 5%. Um, let's watch that carefully here as they continue to stretch to the upside. Not, not providing uh, too much love here for the market. And then of course, um, the dollar has been really, really strong. We're seeing a little bit of easing on the dollar here this morning. Perhaps we can start to see those bonds um, ease up just a little bit. Now, that being said, if you're looking at any place here in the market, remember anything I say here is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. But if we start to see the dollar uh, pulling back and easing up, we might see a little bit of relief in the energy area of the market um, here today. Take a look at XLE. It tried to bounce a little bit yesterday off of this price support, um, gapping a little bit lower here this morning, as you can see. But if the dollar starts to relieve a little bit, we might see some of that coming back up here. I'm not saying it's going to break higher or move high, um, up much unless we see that petroleum status number continuing to show a contraction in supplies. Um, so if we get the two of those working together, the dollar relieving that pressure and um, the uh, oil supply is continuing to show constriction, we might see that rise to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those energy stocks. Also keep an eye on some of the precious metals. It was interesting yesterday that even as the dollar was strong, we started to see a little bit of a bounce in silver and in gold. Tried to bounce a little bit yesterday. Now these are awfully bearish charts. As you remember, I suggested that level right in here around 168 could be tested um, here uh, from that failure. And certainly we have done that um, all in one fail swoop. So watch this area here. There could be that possibility of a bounce. Take a look at WDC. WDC continues to be one of the stellar bullish charts out there in the market holding up nicely in its trend. Now, clearly it caught some selling. It's reacting negatively to this resistance. But as long as we can hold this area in here, I would watch for that chance that this could pop and maybe move on through to the upside. Keep an eye on WDC. Um, Intel. Intel was also making that move to the upside and stayed pretty stubbornly strong yesterday. Even as the market sold off, you can see um, a bit of a flat side trend in here. It's not real steep. Sometimes that's a good place to be in a market like this, but it's always interesting to watch a stock with such a big sell off staying stubbornly strong. So keep an eye on Intel. There may be a little bit more rest in here to come out toward that trend, but let's watch that closely if that can, can engage and push on through, particularly with a relief rally here in the market. Of course, uh, taking a look at Google, um, Google uh, pulled back just a little bit yesterday, but not so much as to damage this chart at all. I am a little bit worried with the uh, 
with the antitrust thing going on and Microsoft piling on on this one that we may be starting to form this head and shoulders pattern up here on Google. But that being said, um, if we can get a bit of a relief rally, we might be able to push this right on through up here and uh, continue to, sit, to extend here in Google. Watch that carefully. It is holding up um, more bullishly than a lot of the stocks in the big tech sector here. Um, if we were to take a look at um, Meta, Meta is also holding up pretty strongly here in that chart, uh, not really experiencing the sell-off like the rest of the market is. So this might be a place to look if we start to relieve um, the market to the upside, we could easily see Meta kind of following through to the upside here. Watch that carefully. Other stocks I'd be a little bit more concerned about when we look at stocks like Microsoft, obviously pretty rough. Um, a relief rally could likely um, bring this back up, but you'll want to note we're in clearly a downtrend here going on in Microsoft. Um, holding here at a triple bottom can give us that relief um, that we'd like to see here, but that doesn't necessarily mean we break the downtrend. So watch carefully here in some of those big tech areas of the market. Take a look at healthcare. Oh my goodness, we've just been crushing things in healthcare, breaking major support levels here in the chart. Um, looking at Merck, I think any rally back to this resistance here in that chart sets up the next opportunity short to the downside. Watch that carefully in here. Merck, not looking good at all. Take a look at uh, BMY. BMY, holy moly, just continuing to break to the downside. Again, I think any rally back up, we have to be looking at those as the next potential short until we can find some big support areas in the chart to uh, find some kind of a hold. Take a look in the financials. Boy, they have really slid hard on uh, XLF breaking down. I took some took profits on my XLF short position here. Uh, we're continuing to move in this downtrend, which is really kind of sharp. So I would look for a release rally to come to, into play here. Um, after breaking this support, we could see that rally be a little bit muted in here, rally back up and then continuing lower. Um, one of the worries that I have is with the, the pressure that we're seeing here in the financials, we could soon begin to see some of those banks get more downgrades. So watch that carefully. If that were to occur, we still have that potential. We could come right down into this area of the chart and clearly looking at XLF you can see we have broken down through our 50 our 200 um, it's not going to be too much more time and our 50 is going to cross back down through the 200 um, very bearish here on the financials and with the bond yields being so high that's just going to continue to be a problem and you can see um, you can see that in all of the major stocks in here take a look at Goldman Sachs just Oh, man, just breaking down through these floors. So any rally back would set up the next opportunity short. When you look at BAC, oh my goodness, uh, very bearish, breaking through a major area of price support here. You can see it's at its lowest levels of the year. Um, as a matter of fact, the last time we were this low in BAC, we were coming back up out of the pandemic sell-off. So very bearish in some of these financials. And uh, we should watch for a relief rally, but be really careful in thinking they're just going to zoom all the way back to the top. Because remember, the financials, these companies aren't lending um, right now. They are um, in preservation mode. That's going to make this upcoming earnings season maybe pretty questionable and we could see uh, that potential that some of these banks may not do all that well coming into that next round of earnings uh, beginning um, next Friday. Next Friday is when some of the big ones begin to report. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Be careful here. Watch for whipsaws. Watch for that potential that we could mo continue moving lower with the bond yields moving up, but also be watching for that um, that relief rally that could come in. And because we've sold off, sold off so strong, 
strongly, it could be a relatively strong relief rally back to the upside. So be prepared for that as well. Y'all take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the very best.